Hi YouTube and welcome to my first day of Vlogmas. So um, I figured since I haven't made a video in a very long time that my first video for Vlogmas should be just kind of giving an update as to what I've been doing for the last several months since I just really haven't been posting anything and I just never posted a reason for stopping my videos and stuff. So anywho, um, to be perfectly honest, the reason I haven't been putting videos up is I just really haven't felt like it. I just kind of really lost interest in vlogging um, and blogging and pretty much everything else for a long time. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, writing, so writing a lot of my fan fiction, but also working on my novels and um, just editing um, my novels and that kind of thing and just kind of getting back into just doing a lot of that kind of thing. So I've been focused more on that than I've been doing a lot of other things. Um, I have been doing some consulting, but uh, not as much as I have in the past because um, um, for those of you who may be new to my uh, channel, I do web analytics consulting. So um, basically I specialize in a tool called Adobe Analytics and uh, for years I've gone every year to Adobe Summit, which is a, a digital marketing summit um, that Adobe hosts because a lot of people know Adobe for their creative side of things, Photoshop and Illustrator and, and, and all those tools and things, PDFs and stuff. But um, there's a whole other half of Adobe that does digital marketing. There's Adobe Analytics, there's their new Experience Cloud. It used to be called Marketing Cloud. It's now the Experience Cloud. Um, and the Marketing Cloud is part of the Experience Cloud now, I think, based off the most recent um, Adobe Analytics tool. Or sorry, Adobe, uh, based off the latest Adobe Summit anyway. Um, but I'm slowly but surely kind of getting out of um, analytics just because I've done it for almost 13 years now. <laughs> and I've been, I've been doing analytics off and on. I mean, I started in 2005 um, as part of the um, company that I used to work for called LSI. And um, I was in their digital marketing department um, or online marketing, yeah, online marketing department. Um, I was with them for 11 years. And in 2005, we bought Omniture and that kind of got me into it in the first place. And since 2008, I've been an independent consultant and things and I'm still kind of doing it, but I just no longer quite have the, the interest and passion in it that I used to. So that's kind of going away and I'm focusing more and more on my writing. Um, the first novel, I've actually started querying agencies um, for the first novel, but I've since uh, gotten some feedback from agencies and, and that has made me go back and do some more editing on the novel. Um, and so, <laughs> and now NaNoWriMo has just ended. Uh, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. So I just finished working on the second novel. It's not done yet. It's almost done. Um, it just needs a few more chapters to kind of wrap everything up. But that'll, that'll be the second novel in the whole series um, that I've been working on. So the, I, I've expanded that first novel. Um, and I've, I've talked about this other novel in, in in previous videos and things, but just to kind of catch everyone up to speed. And uh, for those of you who are new here, yes, I ramble and I go off on tangents a lot, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, so yes, uh, analytics has been something I've been doing. I'm kind of getting out of it. Um, becoming a novelist is sort of my next thing. Um, Besides that, I also want to try and teach um, at my local university. I've been talking to the department there um, about that. That isn't coming to fruition um, yet. Um, I may or may not be teaching in the spring. I don't know. Um, we've had a good conversation. I sat down and talked to them and they may or may not have openings that they need filled, um, in which case they'll let me know. But um, it's December now and I haven't heard anything yet, so uh, if I do hear something, I'm hoping I'll hear, if I hear something, I hope I hear something soon, because otherwise, you know, because the spring semester starts mid-January uh, again, so I'm hoping I hear something soon. Um, you know, if not, maybe I'll start in summer or the next fall. 
In the meantime, I'm gonna keep working on my writing and I'll keep taking consulting projects as I need to and possibly also um, looking into doing some writing projects as well so I could do um, editing for somebody, you know, for, for obviously for a fee. Um, or I could be writing blogs for somebody. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where, where it goes because obviously I need some source of income. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep working on my novels and keep working on the fan fiction stories I'm writing because I love my fan fiction stories. And uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I write fan fiction for primarily Dragon Age, which is a video game series that um, I just kind of fell in love with. And it's what, that video game series is what inspired me to start writing fiction in the first place. And so I've written a lot of fan fiction stories for Dragon Age. Besides that, I've been writing um, Supernatural is another uh, is a, is is another series I'm starting to get into writing more fan fiction for. Um, Teen Wolf, um, I actually have a, a a Teen Wolf story that I want to start writing soon, and a Supernatural one that I'm trying to finish up. Um, and then there's also Merlin, which I haven't written for in a while, and I only have a few pieces for that. But I may or may not continue um, doing more uh, Merlin stories in the future, so we'll see. Uh, but that's that's something that's gotten me into writing fiction in the first place. And then I got inspired in 2015. Um, yeah, 2015. Yeah, 2015. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's just me and numbers. I, I have to double think about. <laughs> Like, did I say that right? Okay, yes, 2015. Um, but in 2015, for NaNoWriMo is when I wrote my first novel. And that one was supposed to just be a single novel originally, uh, from the concept that I originally came up with, where um, basically I've got two protagonists. There's an elf and a human. And they kind of uh, meet up uh, with each other uh, in what's known as the... Uh, I've, I've given it an elven name, it's, I call it the Aria Una, but it's basically the forbidden place or the forbidden zone, but it's the Aria Una in my novel. And they come across what looks like really advanced technology, even though the humans live kind of a medieval uh, level of technology. I would say if you want to do an equivalent to um, kind of earth technology, it would be like circa 1300s, 1400s type level of tech. Um, where uh, the elves actually are more hunter-gatherer. Um, they're even more primitive than that, although they live in the trees and things. So kind of kind of stereotypical elves um, is, is how I start the novel off with. But then they find this tech, and the tech has elven writing on it. So the, they're hunter-gatherers, but they do have writing, and do, they do have books, and they know how to read. So it's a, there's an anachronism there, um, but they don't question it. That's just how they're how they've always lived. Um, but then they find this tech and it's got this elven writing on it and it's like, wait a minute, where did this come from? And so they kind of go on this exploration of this of this forbidden zone and they, they realize very quickly that the reason it's forbidden is because, oh, there's this secret that the elves used to have more tech and they don't anymore. And so that sort of starts off the novel and, and things kind of go from there and I've got um, from there, I've actually come up with a whole bunch of ideas and of, of where I could take the story. And so while the first novel can stand completely on its own, it's its, its own story, I actually have ideas for additional four stories. So there's going to be a series of five novels, all starring with the, the, the two protagonists. Um, they're named Jevon is the human and Arden is the, uh, is the elf. And so they have continued adventures um, after the first novel. And each one's going to be its own standalone story, but there's going to be kind of this kind of arc or thread throughout um, that, that will tie the novels together. And so I've named the series The Artifacts of Truth is going to be the name of the full series. The first novel is um, Artifact of the Dawn. And there's a reason for the name that is kind of a spoiler, so I'm not going to go into that right now. And then the second novel is, uh, I've so far I've named it Artifact of the Forgotten. That may or may not change, um, but for right now it's Artifact of the Forgotten. And it focuses more on the origins and truths of the humans rather than the elves. The first novel focuses on, on the elves, the second novel on the humans, um, with the caveat being that they're not on Earth, and this is set 10,000 years in the future. And so, well, where did the humans come from? The humans think they came from this planet, but they don't. Shh. <laughs> 
that's something that's that's gonna get discovered um, by the end of the second novel. And then so we've got so we've got the elves and like oh shoot we're not from here and we used to have more advanced tech and where did we come from and, and what is the truth behind all this and then we have a similar situation with the humans um so i say similar and not the same because while it initially it looks like it might be a same it's situation um there's actually a completely different reason as to why the humans are on this planet than the elves um and and how they got there and why they're there um and then you know obviously with the next novels after the, those first two um, we're going to discover a little bit more truth in terms of um, who the elves really are, go back to the, the elven homeworld, um, and meet the, the more advanced um, elves and everything. And then also in the fourth novel, we're going to go and try and find out where the hum humans come from, um, run into their uh, the human colonies, and then the fifth novel will ultimately go to Earth and like, okay, so... Where did, where, did, where did everyone come from and um, what happened to the earth and is it still there? Does it still exist? Are people still here? You know, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like trying to discover the truth. Every novel will have another type of artifact um, that will lead to more clues, to lead to more truth, and ultimately lead to, to the, the discovery of, of where everyone came from. So third novel, we go back to the elven homeworld. Fifth novel, we go back to the human homeworld, etc. So... Uh, I think I've rambled enough about that. But yes, yeah, so I've been thinking a lot of details about those novels, and that's what a, a lot of what I've been doing. So anyway, yeah, I, I haven't really done a, anything too exciting this year. I mean, um, I did, like I said, um, have been doing some analytics work still, and um, I had one, actually, I, uh, one project that was really fun. Um, I've been doing more of um, training uh, with with my clients rather than actual analytics work for them. And I actually got hired by um, Verizon this year to uh, to give them some training on Adobe Analytics. And I actually got to go out. Um, they have uh, offices um, in Piscataway, New Jersey, and they have offices in um, the uh, Los Angeles area. Not, not in Los Angeles, but the greater... Um, area out there in Orange County and stuff. So I got to go to the, both of those places in August and give training um, for, for them. So that was kind of cool. Um, and so, and, and that was a big part of another reason why I wasn't filming is because it took several months to secure the contract and then it took me a month to work out all the training details and to actually because one of the things i do when i do training is i do customized training manuals that i provide to my clients and i had to do both a beginner's training and an advanced training so we had to figure out okay what exactly did you did they need me to do the training on and then to develop the training manuals get those approved and then come out and actually physically do the training um, courses for them so that took up most of the summer <laughs> to, to get all that taken care of um, and like I said you know between all that um, all the editing and everything and then um, prepping and planning for writing the second novel so that's like I said, almost done, uh, which I'm kind of excited about. And uh, I've been getting uh, involved with a lot of writers groups and talking to other writers and things. And so this is like just something where I'm just kind of going along with it and getting more and more into things. Um, and I'm actually going to be using um, a new pen name, uh, a pseudonym for my novels. And so, like you all know me as Clanigans, uh, but I will be producing all my novels under the name, uh, it's called G. Bayland. Um, so G is the first initial, uh, because I'm Gabby. <laughs> and then the last name I'm using is Bayland, is B-A-L-E-N-D, um, is, is gonna be the last name. So that's gonna be my author's name. So uh, I'm gonna have in the links below, um, I'm going to be adding, besides all my Clanigans social media, I'm going to be adding links to, I have Balan.net is my author's blog, um, G. Baland is my new Twitter account, um, so I haven't been doing that much with Clanigans except for my Instagram with my food stuff, uh, since, since I still post food photos uh, about 
eh, once or twice a week, something like that, uh, in terms of, of just cool food that I've been cooking and things, because I, I also cook a lot. So if you haven't been following my Instagram, um, follow my Instagram if you're interested in, in looking at the at the food that I that I cook. Um, so there's that. Um, so so yeah, I've got uh, G Balon for Twitter. I've got G Balon on Facebook. Um, and then uh, Balon.net is my author's blog. So that's kind of my author's platform and things. So if you're wanting to follow along the progress and see the when I finally get published and when I finally launch the novels and that kind of thing. So that's all going to be posted um, very on, in those various places and things. So anywho, that's, that's about everything I can update everyone on since the last time I blogged. I mean, I know I talked about my coming out and being genderqueer and all that stuff, and I'll probably go and, and make a separate video uh, on on where I'm at with all that. <laughs> if you notice, like, I now have purple hair and everything, so that there there is that. <laughs> but we'll talk about that more. Uh, tomorrow is my birthday, so tomorrow I will be basically like doing a whole birthday um, vlog on that, and then we'll, we'll I'll, I'll figure out other things to talk about in other videos, because I obviously can ramble for a long time if I want to. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me today, and I hope everyone's enjoying their December, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>